G'day Smoke and Dagger fans. Today we want to find out if we can clean a Weber kettle using only 100% natural products and if that's possible. Stick around and find out. First thing we have for you today is just straight up H2O. That's right, we're not going to put any chemicals in this barbecue. Reason why? Your barbecue is a temple. You wouldn't go piss in a temple, would you? No, so don't piss in your barbecue. Next thing we've got here, this is a grease block. So what this is gonna do is, once activated with a bit of water, bind to all of the nasties on the surface of your barbecue, extract them off, transferring all the dirt from your barbecue to this little brick here. We'll show you how it works in a bit. So recently I've changed to using just natural wood grill grate cleaning products. And I'm hoping to demonstrate to you the benefits of this. This has been a bad boy. You're a big naughty boy. So looking here, you can see I haven't even cleaned out the ashy bricks from our last cook. And there's been a subtle buildup of grime, grease, fat over time. So we're gonna to look to try and take away some of that excess layers, bring it back to a lovely, beautiful, clean condition ready for the next cook. Step one is to take your leftover fuel from your last cook, and get that out of the barbecue. To get rid of the residual ash left over in your barbecue, use Weber's One Touch cleaning mechanism. This will make cleaning a breeze. Using a combination of H2O and my timber scraper, we're going to slowly make our way down the barbecue, getting rid of all of the really heavy built up solids from the casing of the barbecue down into the ashtray below. Alternatively, if you have one of those uh, plastic paint scrapers or putty scrapers laying around, that's excellent to use as well. Now we've scraped off all of the dirt and crud, get some paper towel or a dishcloth and just wipe it all down into the ashtray. This lid's not looking too bad, so we're just going to use some water, paper towel, give it a nice clean down. Now we're happy with the inside surface of our barbecue, we're going to focus on the grates. And here we're using H2O and our cleaning brick. Simply moisten the brick. This is going to allow the transfer of dirt and grime. And then give, this, give a quick spray to your grates. So our preference is to use water only to clean these cooking grates. And that's so we don't get any you know, caustics or nasty poisonous chemicals transferring to our food after we cook on this thing. So I haven't been going for very long, but already you can see the middle ring of the grates is so much more cleaner than the outer perimeter. And that's thanks to this porous cube and you get little indentation forming in the brick. That's perfectly fine. That should help guide you across the grates as you continue cleaning. So now we're happy with the inside of our barbecue. We're going to make our way around the outside, getting that nice gloss so everyone knows that you take good care of your Weber kettle. Good on you. So it's been about 20-30 minutes that we've been cleaning this Weber kettle and we've used the three methods of H2O, uh, timber cleaning and a porous cleaning brick. And with those three methods alone, we've been able to get this kettle back to a stunning condition. Heck, looks pretty brand new to me. Now can you clean a Weber kettle faster, better, stronger, harder using nasty chemicals, caustic agents? Of course you can, that's what they're there for. But this video is simply about showing you how you can bring it back to a nice condition, get it ready for your next family cookout. We're using only natural products and I think that's worth the time and effort. Well, that's enough cleaning, time for cooking. Till next time guys, see ya. We're gonna clean you up. Yes, we are.